Calculation of pH of strong acid, negative log of that concentration given. Calculating the pH of a strong base, you can go 14 minus the pOH and be careful of those double hydroxides. But what if you're given a weak acid, an acid that doesn't dissociate 100% in solution? Well, then it doesn't make hydronium 100% of the time like a strong acid will. So what you need is a dissociation constant, a K value. That's the Ka. And so what we need to do is, when we're calculating the pH of, say, 0.1 mole per liter acetic acid, a weak acid, we need to take that acid and react it with water. Water will actually accept the proton to form acetate ion, CHCCO negative, and hydronium. If we know that hydronium ion concentration, we know we can get the pH real easy, negative log of that number. But this doesn't break down 100% to make 0.1 here and 0.1 here. How much does it break down? Not as much, a little bit, and an X value is how much we'll get of the acetate ion and, importantly, of the hydronium. So that's the change line, right? Then the equilibrium line, we have 0 decimal 10 0 minus X and X and X here. And I'm just taking for granted you remember everything about equilibrium chemistry in order to do this. If you don't, you've got to review those other discs, right? Okay, so, if we write the expression for this, we don't include water liquid, so the K value, which is called the Ka here, that's an acid dissociation constant for weak acids, strong acids have them too, but they're essentially a 100% reaction, right? Ka equals the concentration of this times this over the acetic acid, and of course we know that in equilibrium we have these concentrations here and we substitute in. Now, to continue with the math, bang, we got the answer. Now, we substitute in the K value. You can find this on any data sheet in the back of your textbook. You'll get the acetic acid's dissociation constant, Ka, equaling 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Equals x squared over 0.1 minus x. Hey, it would be really convenient if we could get rid of that x. Well, if you take the initial concentration of 0.1 and divide it by the K value, you get a number that's greater than 1,000. So you can essentially drop the x. If you don't like to, you'll have to do the quadratic formula. But you're going to get the same answer anyway, so drop it. This times this equals x squared. So x squared equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6. And then x equals the hydronium ion concentration which equals, when you take the square root of this number to find x, you get 1.316 times 10 to the negative 3. Keep all your numbers in your calculator till the very end. Now, to get the pH, the negative log of that number, and it equals 2.87. Notice, two significant digits, two here, so I keep two after the decimal in my pH. Does that make sense? Well, a 0.1 mole per liter solution of acetic acid is going to have a higher pH than a 0.1 mole per liter solution of a strong acid, which actually would have a pH of 1. So a pH of 2.87 means that it is a weaker acid in comparison to a stronger acid. Although, strong acids could have that pH if they were dilute, but that's coming later. Okay, so later turns into right now. Look. Here is a 0.1 mole per liter solution of HCl. Here's a 0.1 mole per liter solution of acetic acid. So, because this is a strong acid and this is a weak acid, and they're the same concentrations, we can compare relatively what their pHs will be. The strong acid will have a lower pH than the weak acid. And so, therefore, you can make a kind of a comparison. But take a look at this. Here's a strong acid, HCl. But it's 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. It's 0.00014 moles per liter. 10 mole per liter acetic acid in this comparison. Which one of these is the stronger acid? Don't get confused. A strong acid means you dissociate 100%. That's still the strong acid. HCl is the strong acid. That is a weak acid. It'll never change. But this is a concentrated weak acid, and this is a dilute strong acid. And when you calculate the pHs of each one of those, you may get a weak acid having a pH that is lower than a strong acid. That's okay. It's just more concentrated. That's all. So understand the difference between strength, which is the concentrate, <laughs> strength, which is the acid's ability to dissociate, 
and concentration, which is how many moles per liter you have of that solution.